Hello, I'm Bruce Cargill, a drives product manager for McNaught and McKay. The 750 series family of drives, the architecture class family of drives from Rockwell Automation has consisted of this Parflex 753, up to 400 horsepower in a frame seven, had some IO on it. You could add ethernet or other communications to it. And then it had the Powerflex 755 family that uh, is part of the 750 series that has ethernet on board and goes up to 2000 horsepower for 480 volt and had some advanced features. Today we're gonna to talk about the 755 family of drives. Now adding to the Powerflex 527 drive, which is a component class family in the Rockwell automation drive category, is the uh, integrated safety now on the 755. So the 755 now joins the integrated safety family over Ethernet IP, or SIP safety, with the new 20-750-S3 integrated safety module for safe torque off. This gives you capabilities of meeting IEC 61508, 61800, SIL 3, uh, your ISO PLE, Category 3. These types of uh, certifications are now on board with that. And it is available through frame seven with the 755 drive with version 13 or higher. And um, it does work with the frame eight through frame 10 as well, but it does not meet these categories until the version 14 is out for that drive. Additionally, you see up here 755 TL, TR, and TM, which is called the 755 T family. That also uses this same module for integrated safety. Now, this module slides into port four, five, or six in terms of your control pod with the 755 family. And so it works across the whole breadth of the family. Additionally, there are other hardware modules like your universal uh, feedback card, your dual port ethernet uh, 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 cards, your um, uh, encoder feedback cards, your I.O. cards, all those cards are available to be used in this whole frame of 755 family, whether it's a T family or not. So it's protecting your investment using all the same hardware that you've purchased in the past or you're going to use in the future. So Rockwell is really looking out for protecting your investment as these new drives capabilities are added. Moving forward in terms of the 755 T family now, there is a TL, which is L for low harmonic. There's a TR, and the R is for regen. And the TM, the M is for multi-drive. So Rockwell has now entered into the ability to have an active front end built into the drive that gives you low harmonic capability so you can meet IEEE 518 harmonic standards. And regen is now fully capable in this drive's family in the 755T. Additionally, what does the T stand for? T stands for total force. Traditionally, the highest performance drive in the architecture class family in Rockwell Automation has been the 700S. The T now leapfrogs that. So the T, the 755T is the highest performance drive. It gives you higher bandwidth, it gives you better torque control, better torque smoothness, accuracy, and overall higher performance. The T family uh, in addition to providing the regen and the harmonic mitigation with this active front end, you have an improved power factor. As well as tuning capabilities inside the drive, which we're going to talk in a bit. And that includes load observer and adaptive tuning. We're going to cover that. But I'd like to cover pr predictive maintenance. In the 755 drives, in the 500 parameter categories, there are abilities for you to monitor your Zerk fittings, your relay contacts, the life of those things, and your fan life. A lot of customers don't use that, but that is in the 755 drive as it stands today. Rockwell took that and made it even better and grew on that, which is really positive for predictive maintenance. Now we have blown fuse indication. We have not only monitoring fans and those types of things, but we also have the ability now in the capacitors in your LCL circuit, in your harmonic filter, as well as in the bus, we actually monitor for your current through the capacitors. We actually monitor for degradation in the capacitor as well. And if there are any issues whatsoever, your input contactor will open up on the drive. Covering the tuning aspects now on the drive with this total force technology, there are two parts to it in terms of adaptive control. One is load observer. 
Load Observer looks at the changes in your mechanics as well as compliance. It looks at variations in your inertias. Because traditionally what happens in drives when you have any variations or, or things in your process that are affecting you, you're looking at, is it my gearbox? Do I have to retune the drive? You have to manually intervene. Now with Load Observer, the drive automatically starts compensating for this. And it uses adaptive tuning with a tracking notch filter that looks at harmful disturbances, whether it be from resonances or from vibrations, whatever those things are, the drive is constantly monitoring that, looking that, at that, and tuning it out. This is automatically done. This is a great feature for your process now, especially for critical processes and doing very, very high performance. This is all built into the T family, and this is where the total force comes into play. So what does a 755 T family of drives look like from a hardware standpoint? It is a very modular design. If you look over here, you see the control pod in, in the same control pod that you're familiar with your, your 750 series of drives. These are the same I.O. modules. And then you have the AC pre-charge section that comes in with a breaker. So that you can have top feed or bottom feed, and it comes into the drive and you have your LCL filter, you have your converter, and you have your actual inverter right here. Now the difference between the TL and the TR is that this converter section on the TR also has regen capability built in. So that's the difference between the TL and the TR. So the TL goes up to 1800 horsepower for 480 volt, and the TR now goes well above that 755 top threshold of 2,000 horsepower, and it goes to 3,000 horsepower. So the TL has frame 8, 9, and 10, and then additionally frames 11 and 12 come in with the TR. Now, the thing that I want to point out here is the height is, you know, 84.5 inches, the depth is 25.5 inches, but if you take a look at these widths of 47, 78, 126 inches, that's about the size of your 755 and you put a wiring bay next to it. Now, if you've ever seen a drive where you add an active front end or a passive filter or an additional active filter, or you look at a 12 pulse or an 18 pulse drive to overcome these harmonic issues, it is much larger than this. So if you have floor space that is really important in your plant, this is the drive to go with. It's a much smaller design, and it's much smaller than our competitors. This is where Rockwell is leapfrogging, not in the performance technology, but also in the form factor of the product itself. The 755TM for multi-drive now uses the same technology, but now we can have a common DC power structure, a, 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 a common converter, and we can have a common DC bus. So now we can take the same control pod, all the same stuff we were talking about before with the LCL filter and your converter, and now you can start adding the inverters and you have disconnects on those inverters, which we actually regulate the DC bus separately from our AC, which is great for now if you have power quality issues for uh, ride through capabilities. And we also carefully use a DC bus conditioner to monitor that bus to make sure we're within the specification of the drive. So now you can add these separate inverters, and here's your control pods for those separate inverters, and you can lay out a line however you want it. And you can now, on that common DC bus, add a 755 drive or a 753 drive. Let's say you just have some fan or pumps on that line as well, besides your tension control you may be operating or whatever other high performance you have where you need the total force capability and the full regen capability. So now you have optimized performance like you've never had before in terms of a drive structure. Additionally, besides adding those 750 series products, you can add the Kinetics 5700 on that common DC bus as well if you have servos. So if you have a slitter application in terms of a winder, you can add that in there now for servo performance. So there's a whole plethora of, of combinations of things that you can do in this drive family that really optimize your productivity. So the 755T now joins the 750 full series family of drives and it uses all the same asset tools that you have at your disposal. 
with compact and control logics, connected components workbench. You can still use firmware supervisor. You can still use automatic device configuration. So it's really protecting your investment as you move forward. Thank you very much.